Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shake Studios. Today in this video, we're gonna go ahead and download Fortnite on a 500 megabit connection. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So how long do you think it would take to download Fortnite on a 500 megabit connection? on the PlayStation 4. Well, Fortnite is around 40 gigabytes and that's a pretty big file size. So let's switch over my computer right now and I'll show you my connection speed. So let's go ahead and just do a quick speed test. And I'm getting around 450 megabits per second for a download speed on my PC. Now it's a little bit different on your PlayStation 4. If you go to the PlayStation 4, the servers are actually capped to a specific rate. So for me, I think I can only get a maximum of about 250 on my PlayStation 4, like for the original PlayStation 4. And it doesn't seem like it goes much higher than that, even though my connection speed is far better on my PC. So that seems to be about what I'm capped at on my PlayStation 4, about 200 megabits per second. And that's gonna be the same for you guys as well. Your connection speed is gonna be significantly lower on your PlayStation 4 versus what you actually have for a service. So let's go over to Fortnite right now and then delete this and re-download it from my library and just see how long it would take. I already have my timer up for my phone on the screen right there. So let's go over to library and go to my purchase games right here and search for Fortnite. All right, so here's Fortnite right here, R2 done. Let's go ahead and download it and see how long it would take. So I'm gonna hit download in three, two, one. Press start, download. So it's starting right now. We're already at five seconds and it's added to my download folder. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to go ahead and calculate and prepare to download. So I'm gonna leave that timer running and it looks like it's already starting. Now it says about six minutes left. If I go ahead and select this, and I can see that I can start the application in about five minutes and then it's gonna take about 14 minutes total to download Fortnite. So we'll see how accurate these estimates are actually on the PlayStation 4. I can't remember what I can do when I can start the application in five minutes, but I guess we'll go ahead and see. Now, if you want quicker download speeds on your PlayStation 4, it is imperative that you leave all applications closed on your PlayStation 4. So if you have like a different game open like Rocket League and the application is open, go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button and close all the applications Go up to the top of the quick menu right here. And if there's an option to close application, close that application, your download speeds will be significantly faster. And make sure if you do have anything else downloading to cancel those downloads and just let this one file download. Like this content right here, I have downloading above it. It's waiting to install. So if you do have anything opened, pause it and cancel the application. So you can go ahead and download your games as fast as can be. After closing an application, if it seems like the game's not downloading as fast as it should be, go to the game, pause it, and unpause it, and just see for yourself how quickly it will download after doing that. So let's go ahead and speed up the video and just compare the two numbers and see how accurately those are. T minus 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Fortnite has downloaded in 13 minutes and approximately 33 seconds on a 500 megabit per second download speed on the original PlayStation 4, pretty much maxing out the download speed that you can actually have on the PlayStation 4 itself. So this is an incredible time for 40 gigabytes of download on the original PlayStation 4, 13 minutes and 33 seconds. Holy cow, that is smoking fast.
So let me know your download times for Fortnite down below in the comments section. And if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech health videos coming up next on your six studios.